placenta. Placenta is a fleshy structure which is a life support machine for the growing embryo. It provides oxygen and nutrition and remove carbon dioxide and toxic materials from the fetus. Placenta is attached to the uterine wall and connects the mother and the fetus through the umbilical cord. So the structure is fetal and maternal. It is disc-like in shape, thick it is slender and thin at the edges. It is spongy and fleshy, reddish in color, 15 to 20 centimeter in diameter. It weighs 500 gram or one sixth of the weight of the baby. The volume is 500 ml. The umbilical cord connects at the center of the placenta. It has two surfaces, maternal surface and the fetal surface. Maternal surface is dark red because of the presence of maternal blood. It is rough and spongy with 15 to 20 lobes or cotyledons. The cotyledons are divided by sulci. You can see numerous grayish spots due to deposition of calcium and these are of no clinical significance. The fetal surface is white and shiny because it is covered with smooth and glistening amnion. Umbilical cord is attached at or near the center of the fetal surface. You can see the branches of umbilical vessels radiating from the insertion of cord. Functions of the placenta. It helps in respiration by the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide by simple diffusion. It provides nutrition to the growing fetus. The nutrients from the maternal diet, which is already broken down into simpler forms and absorbed by the blood, reaches the placenta. Now, the placenta selects the substance needed by the fetus by diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transport and penocytosis. Placenta helps in the synthesis and storage of glycogen, cholesterol and fatty acids. It also stores iron and vitamins. Placenta helps in excretion. The main substance excreted is carbon dioxide. Placenta also acts as fetal kidney and excretes creatinine, urea and uric acid. Placenta protects the fetus because the placental membrane is semi-permeable, forming a placental barrier which restricts the entry of some virus, bacteria and drugs. Placenta takes over as a major endocrine gland and starts secreting hormones like human chorionic gonadotropin, human chorionic thyrotropin, human placental lactogen, estrogen and progesterone, insulin-like growth factors and relaxin. So you can learn the functions of the placenta with a mnemonic called SERPENT. It stands for storage, endocrine, respiration, protection, excretion, nutrition and transfer. Abnormalities of the placenta. Abnormalities of the placenta include abnormal position, shape, weight, adhesion, lesions and tumors. Abnormal position include placenta previa. Placenta previa is otherwise called low-lying placenta where the placenta attaches to the lower uterine segment. If the placenta is at the edge of the cervix, it is called the marginal placenta previa. If it covers the cervix partially, it is called partial placenta previa and if it completely covers the cervix, it is called total placenta previa. Abnormal shape includes placenta bipartite where the placenta consists of two equal parts connected by membranes. The umbilical cord is inserted in one lobe and branches from its vessels across the membranes to the other lobe. Rarely, the umbilical cord divides into two branches and supplies each lobe. Placenta succinctuate is a morphological abnormality of the placenta where one or more of the lobes are present outside the placental body. These can have different sizes and are connected by blood vessels to the main placenta. Placenta circumvillata is a rare condition that occurs when the amnion and chorion, the fetal membranes of the placenta, fold backward around the edges of placenta. And placenta fenestrata is another rare condition in which the central portion of the discoid placenta is missing. Abnormal weight the placenta increases in size and weight in conditions like congenital syphilis, hydrops fetalis and diabetes mellitus. Normally, placenta is attached to the decidua basalis. Abnormal adhesion includes placenta accreta 
in which the chorionic villi penetrate deeply into the uterine wall to reach the myometrium. Placenta increta is when the villi penetrate deeply into the myometrium and placenta percreta when they reach the peritoneal coat. Placental lesions are seen as infarctions and placental tumors are very rare. If you get a short note for your university exam, write an introduction of placenta of what it is and describe the structure with surfaces and list down the functions and list down the abnormalities. If you get an essay question, write the same introduction structure and surfaces Explain the functions and explain the abnormalities. Draw diagrams to support your answers. Thank you.